on both sides. But you're going to have to come up with policy really positions. Really negative results. Right, we but just Andrew, need a better system. Yeah, but Andrew, you're going to have to have policy uh, positions at some point. How does the forward party feel about Roe versus Wade? Should it have been overturned? Well, I personally uh, think that women's reproductive rights are fundamental human rights. But the forward party has uh, not left or right, but forward stance on even the most divisive and contentious issues. Well, what does that mean? Don't you have to take a position on something? View Don't you have to take a position of, on something? You can't just say, well, I, you well, know, this is I, a hot button issue, so I'm not going to take a position on you. You know, if you want to run the country, you're going to have to make some hard decisions, Andrew. Uh, again, the forward party is about that common sense consensus majority view, which is very clear on abortion. It's clear. What about on guns? What guns. about assault it's clear weapons? On climate change. It's actually clear on just about every issue under the sun. Should 18 year olds be able to buy AR 15s? Because of the nature of our system. Should 18 year olds be able to buy AR 15s? Again, the common sense consensus majority is that there should be some. Uh, rules around background checks and access to, to firearms. But we're not getting any of these things, Jim, because the two-party system does not need to deliver. But it doesn't any sound like you're taking any hard positions. It sounds like you're. Trade power. It sounds like you're you're sort of a fill-in-the-blank party. You're you know if if somebody uh, wants a, a a party with no clear policy positions, you're it. But unfortunately, in the real world, in the real world, you have to take a position on something. Well, well, we're for the common sense consensus 